Assistant Professor, IT Department of our college. Let's see uh, what is the use of type type keyword now. Let's see the definition first. Type type is a keyword. It is a reserved uh, keyword. It is used to create shorter or more meaningful names for the predefined data types. And we all know that the already defined data types are int, float, char, double, long double, like that. And from the definition, it is clear that the typed up keyword is used to create an alias name, that is an alternate name for the existing data type. And afterwards, this alias name is used uh, for defining the uh, defined data types. So let's see the syntax. We have to write the keyword type there. Afterwards, uh, the existing data type name and then the alias name which is given by the user. For example, let's see the example one now. Here, the reserved keyword is typed there. And then we wish to have, let's consider, we wish to have integer type variables A, B, C. But now, I wish to give some alternate name for this int data type. That is addition. So, we have to write like this. That is type def, the existing data type, int, and then we use this, we are giving this alternate name for this int data type. That is addition. So, afterwards, we can use this addition to declare the variables a, b, and c. Let's see another example. The example 2 here, uh, we wish to have the two variables a and b belonging to signed long int data type. And because it is a very lengthier one, we wish to give some alternate name to this signed long int. For that, we have to write type the signed long int, the alias name for this data type. That is S long, for example. Then in the next line, we can just give S long the variable names A and B. Also, we will see some more applications of this uh, type tab. Type tab with pointers. We all know that um, here, this P and T R is a pointer variable name. How we can say that it is a pointer variable name? Because there is an asterisk in the declaration part. So that it is not a normal variable, it is a pointer variable. And now, after writing this line, that is type the int asterisk pntr, afterwards we can use pntr to declare the variables e, f and g for example. So, here the variables e, f and g belonging to the integer pointer. But what about this pntr? pntr is an alternate name for the integer pointer. The next one is type the with structure. We all know that structure is a collection of different data types under a single name. So instead of starting with the struct and then the tag name student, we can write type the and then the keyword struct and then student as a tag name. Afterwards, we are having some three different data types. I'm uh, three different. Uh, Variables, name, roll number, and then mark one, having the data types, character, and the integer. And here we are writing the structure variable name as stud student. Then inside the program, it is just enough to write this stud with the s1 as a structure variable name. So, with the help of s1, hereafter we can refer this name, roll number, and mark. What we have uh, understood from this line is there is no need to again write the keyword struct because we have already given here as type def. Let's see an example program for the usage of the type def keyword. Uh, the example program is addition of two numbers using the type def keyword. In order to add two numbers, we know that we need two input. Uh, uh, variables. Uh, let us uh, have it as number 1 and number 2 in our program and then one resultant variable for example sum in our program. But in our program um, what type of uh, 
data this number one, number two and some will hold. So we should decide first, we are deciding that uh, these uh, number one, number two and some will hold in the data type. But here we are going to use type there because we don't want to use int data type but we are going to give some alternate name to this int data type that is integer. So how to write it? We have to start with the keyword type there. The existing data type int and this is the array's name for this data type integer. Then afterwards we can use this array's name to declare the variables number 1, number 2 and sum. And the next line will be what are the end of the two numbers that is number 1 and number 2. After entering the numbers we have to do the calculation. Okay, it is stored here in the variable sum. The resultant variable is sum. So that we are printing this sum in the answer. And that's all. The program is over. Let's see the output now. Um, the output is, uh, what are the two numbers? End of the two numbers. Uh, let us have uh, 15 and 12 are the two numbers. So definitely we will get back. The two numbers are added the sum and we will be getting answer is equal to 27. So let's uh, finally we are uh, coming to the advantages of this type depth. This type depth make our code more clear and it can make our code easier to modify it okay, like this. Also we can have the complex declarations. We can uh, make it too easier to understand. That's all. Thank you.